Good morning, everyone. We join together in celebrating the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you as we enter into our celebration of the Mass on this special feast in honor of Mary. We pray that by living a good and holy life, doing the best we can, that one day we will inherit eternal life with Mary and all of the saints in the kingdom. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, free us from our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven horns, seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have salvation and power come and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand, in gold of Ophir. The queen 
Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. We stand right hand for your So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through man, the resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God, and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me? The mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, 
and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, it's such a great joy to be with you this morning whether you're celebrating here in church or whether you're celebrating at home online celebrating this mass in honor of our blessed mother and the great hope the great promise that it offers all of us that having lived a good life here one day we will share eternal life again as i mentioned in the beginning with Mary and all of the saints. It's just such a great feast, just filled with such promise and such hopefulness. One time when I was attending Mass on retreat, the priest talked about the sign of the cross, and it might be in a way that you were told about the cross at some time in your spiritual formation. He invited us to think of the directions of the cross and to consider again, you know, what those directions meant to us in our spiritual lives. That the upward direction as we begin to assign ourselves, it's like pointing to our final goal. It makes us mindful of our hope that one day we're going to be with God, we're going to see God face to face. And we've come to think of that, of course, as upward. The lateral direction reminds us of what? The here and the now. Our call to do the very best we can to love and to serve God, to love and to serve others on our journey homeward. I think about that talk on occasion and, of course, the generous way that Jesus gave himself through the cross out of love for each and every one of us. But that thought about the cross, my brothers and sisters, offers us insight into God's word to us today as we celebrate this solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. What is the Assumption? It's this wonderful reminder, isn't it, that Mary made it. You know, she now shares the eternal life with the God who loved her, the God who called her, and who she loved and responded to in return. And the Catechism of the Catholic Church puts it this way, Mary, and I quote, when the course of her earthly life was finished, was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory, and exalted by the Lord as queen of all things, so she might be more fully conformed to her son, the Lord of Lords, and the conqueror of sin and death. Well, of course, my brothers and sisters, as we think about that, the next question becomes, how did Mary achieve this amazing honor? And the answer, my brothers and sisters, is made clear to us in the gospel selection for today and other celebrations of Mary, that the lateral dimension how Mary said yes to God and did her best to bring Christ in the world. That's how Mary achieved this amazing honor. And not only once, my brothers and sisters, but through her faith and through her hope and through her charity each and every day throughout a lifetime. Mary's visit to Elizabeth that we recall today is often referred to as the visitation. And what was that visit like? Well, St. Luke tells us that these women 
greeted each other, that there was great joy, that they sensed the very presence of God in that meeting, and that there was prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. This visit, friends, is just one example of the beauty and the quality of Mary's life, as well as a wonderful reminder of our own call to imitate Mary, to be Christ bearers like she was, to do our best each and every day to bring the joy, the hope, the kindness, the peace of mind of Jesus to others as we make our pilgrim way. In doing that, my brothers and sisters, it's in that that we share with Mary the great joy that this day commemorates and are reminded so well as the opening prayer reminds us that our ultimate goal is to be what? Exalted with her on high, raised up to be with her there, if only we do our best to love and serve in whatever time we are given here. been attentive to God's word and reflected on it, we raise up our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may Christ strengthen our hearts in our mission to spread the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public officials, may God work in and through them as they carry out their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For expectant mothers, may the Lord bless them with his never-ending love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God's grace strengthen us as we build the kingdom of God on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they join Jesus and Mary in the everlasting joy of heaven. At this Mass, let us remember William Allenbacher, Jr. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear these and all of the prayers of your faithful people. Bless us on our pilgrim journey homeward, that having imitated our blessed mother in her love and kindness, we may merit the gift of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Through to the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. To be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
please pray now, friends, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love constantly long for you. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And, lift up the Lord. and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. <coughs> Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when the supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, all of your people. Remember William and all of our brothers and sisters, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, St. Gregory Thaumaturgus, the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We read.
rejoice together in the great promise of eternal life that this day reminds us of as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we now, called to share in the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for all of our intentions as the angel said to Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for participating at home. Uh, for those of you who are here, if you'd be so kind as to remember to put your kneeler down when you leave, uh, we'll know what areas have to be cleaned. Thank you so much. May the Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless and keep you today and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our brothers and sisters, go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. As we go forth, our recessional hymn is Hail Holy Queen, enthroned above. 